think you're going to like this next segment. The dirty secrets of Wall Street were brought to the front of American consciousness during the financial meltdown that sparked the Great Recession. But a recently published memoir claims to shed light on the culture behind those titans of finance, peeling back the curtain for an insider's look at lavish spending, gossip, nervous breakdowns, and sex on Wall Street. Our next guest wrote Suits, a woman on Wall Street, which details the craziest things that she says she saw as an analyst for Morgan Stanley. Her name is Nina Godwala, and she joins me here in studio now. Nina, good to have you with us. Hi, thank uh, you. I promised everybody that they're going to like this segment, so <laughs> you have to deliver now because we all want to know what it's like to work on Wall Street, especially after so much of the country has been hurt by this recession. Uh, so you wrote the book, and Goldman Sachs called you into their headquarters then to talk about the culture that you describe in the book. What was it like kind of walking into the lion's den, invited to Goldman Sachs? Actually, there's a little correction on that. I went to Goldman, I, the Goldman Sachs donated a space for me to speak, but I spoke to the Wharton Club of Boston. So I've had a lot of support behind uh, Wharton where I got my MBA. All right, and that is the School of Business that everybody needs it's to know about. It's a yes. uh, very prestigious organization. Uh, but what was it like when you had that type of audience listening to the tales that you came out with? Well, really, it was, it was largely, it was Wharton alum, and so they were coming from all different types of backgrounds, mostly financial services. Uh, it was in Boston, so more asset management type uh, people and the reality is is so many people said I've had similar instances it's just probably not to the extreme that you talk about and they weren't in investment banking but there's all these nuanced type things that happen to women that we were all be able to relate to so we actually had a really interesting discussion about how corporations if they were more open and more open-minded more open cultured it would be a much more welcoming place what is the culture for women Culture for women, my, my experience was actually a little more extreme. Um, I was in a group of 20-something men, and I was the only woman. There were a lot of other people that didn't have that type of experience. I think it's just harder, not just if you're a woman, but if you're anything that is quite different, because the culture is, this is the reality of what it is, and you need to assimilate to what we are. And I think investment banking in corporate finance, where I was, takes that kind of to a different level. I think if you go into any corporate culture, you automatically assimilate in certain things. We wear certain clothes. We come in. We, we decide how we're going to speak and what we're going to say. But this investment banking culture takes it to a different level of mm -hmm. kind of leave, leave what's different at the door. What did you assimilate? You too then and that you now write about I mean what are the wild things that you feel that maybe you had to step out of your own personality to become well one of the things I think it, mostly for me it was just having a voice uh, is somebody who is a minority somebody who comes from a, a different background as a woman a lot of times it's very focused on the hierarchical nature of it and if someone is senior is saying something and a lot of people don't agree with it a lot of people won't say anything. There's a lot of kind of turning your head the other way and just acting like, just kind of like, well, that's the way it is. That's the way this culture is. And uh, especially if someone, the more senior they are, the more they get away with. Is Wall Street sex, drugs, and rock and roll? I, I yeah, no, I, I don't think it's quite sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Um, the drugs, maybe antidepressants, might be a little bit more than, uh, I think it depends which area you work in. It's hard to just say that for all of Wall Street. But the department I was in, I would not, you know, I think there were more people I knew on antidepressants than taking cocaine, was, is my guess. Um, there's probably, yes, there's a lot of, uh, you know, my experience, there was someone that posed, posed in a gay porn magazine, so there was a little, little sex there. A little, a little sex there. Okay. Yeah, All right. Well, Nina, the book is called Suits, Women on Wall Street. We wish you the best of luck with it. Uh, and what line of work are you in now? Author? I am a half-time author. Half-time, I run my own company called MindWorks, and I actually teach stress management and meditation in organizations. Well, good luck to you in your future endeavors. Thanks so much. Thank We're going to be right back with more.